In this video, we're going to be checking out the Matt Pike Custom Green Rabid Mammal by Black Arts Toneworks, and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve Reese here from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that's your thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. So the green version of the rabid mammal here features two separate circuits. You've got a boost circuit on this side of the pedal and a fuzz circuit on this side of the pedal. The fuzz is engaged with this switch. The boost is engaged with this switch. When they are both active, the boost drives the fuzz. In terms of controls on the boost side, you've got a volume and a treble control. And when it comes to the fuzz side of the circuit, you've got volume, fuzz, tone, high, and pre. This pre is a preamp gain headed into the fuzz circuit. Obviously the high end here, uh, tone control. And you've got this toggle switch that lets you go between LED and MOSFET style clipping. Now, particular to this green version of the pedal, you've got these three additional toggle switches. So the modifications to the standard Rabbit Mammal are the low gain switch on the boost. This allows for a thinner, less compressed boost. You've got a high control shift. This allows for a deeper mid scoop while accentuating the highs. And you've got a tone control shift. This allows for a mid scoop with both tone and high controls accessing alternate voicings. With all switches in the down position, you have Matt's custom settings that were used on the most recent sleep shows. When in the upper position, you've got the stock red enclosure rabid mammal settings. The green version was not actually a full production model, but does form the basis for the V2 rabid mammal that is currently under development. You can follow Black Arts Toneworks on Instagram for more updates and details on that build. I'll have links to that page and his website in the description. Now the killer artwork on this pedal was put together by Matt and his wife, Alyssa. I'll have a link to her Instagram account down in the description. She posts a lot of her really awesome artwork and you should definitely check it out. Today I'm gonna to be playing a 92 Les Paul Standard in C Standard Tuning into a 90s Orange OR120 Overdrive. For lesson tabs, early access to YouTube videos, exclusive video content, and other awesome members perks, you can check out patreon.com slash doesitdoom. Support the channel there and join the private communities over on Facebook and Discord. I'll have a link in the description if you'd like to take a look.
I want to send out a big thank you to everyone who supports the channel over on Patreon with a very special thanks to all of our Rift Lord tier producers. For more content just like this, you can click either of these YouTube cards and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.